the band of brothers fell just short of their quest of bringing home their franchise's second NBA crown. But in their very first year together, they won a division title and an Eastern Conference banner. The Heat's three stars, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh, formed the league's highest scoring trio in 20 years. More than anything, though, the Heat has established themselves as a championship contending franchise for years to come. The 2010-2011 season will go down as one of the greatest times in sports history as it seized an unprecedented focus around the world. Everyone was dialed into Miami, Florida and what the Heat were going to do and who they were going to become. This team you know, was like no other team, not even that I played on, but not in the history of sports in the sense of everything we have to deal with, you know, off the court and on the court. You know, Goes Down the Book is obviously one of the most exciting seasons, but, you know, one of the best group of guys I've been around. On this 18th night of December, we finally get into the NBA's preseason. Tonight in Miami, Heat fans are all fired up about seeing their team again for the first time since last June in the NBA Finals. It is home sweet home for the defending Eastern Conference champs, and inside the Heat's house, they will begin their abbreviated two-game preseason. But time is now to get ready for the regular season, which is just one week away. Welcome everybody inside the Heat's house, the American Airlines Arena. Mike the Heat take on the Orlando Magic, and we always help you enjoy every bounce and basket all season long, right here on Sun Sports. That's how Miami looks seven days before Christmas, and tonight we'll see how the Heat look just seven nights before their Christmas Day opener in Dallas. We already know how good Dwayne Wade looks. A great player, and he has become a great family man and great dad, Dwayne with his two sons. We're all getting ready for the regular season, which opens seven nights from tonight. Now tonight in Miami, first of two preseason games for the Heat here in season number 24 to ready themselves for opening night. The Magic on with Hito Turkoglu and Big Baby Davis between Dwight Howard at center. And the backcourt, also a familiar one, same backcourt as last year, the 11-year man Jason Richardson and Jameer Nelson, who has spent all seven of his previous seasons at a St. Joe's with the Orlando Magic. Magic winning 52 games a year ago. And the Heat won 58 times, made it all the way to the NBA Finals. LeBron, Joel, and Chris Bosh up front. Mario Chalmers and D-Wade, the Heat backcourt. Well, the Heat bench very strong this year, led by four-time captain Udonis Haslam, who moments ago addressed the arena crowd. On behalf of the NBA, Miami Heat, um, just like to thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for the support. We look forward to a long, successful, healthy season. Happy holidays. Same to you, UD, new look, but the same terrific warrior and player for Miami is Haslam. Well, these two teams will meet again Wednesday in Orlando right here on Sun Sports at 7. Tony, these teams will face each other four times during the regular season. They split the four-game series a year ago. Remember one of those games up in Orlando when LeBron scored 51. But, Tony, the backdrop of this preseason opener unique. First time the NBA's ever had just a two-game preseason, so there's no time to take a long look at your reserves and your end-of-the-bench players. This is very meaningful for both teams to get their regulars ready for an opener that's just seven days away. Yeah, different approach than you would usually find, uh, you know, with the with the first preseason game of the season because there's only, as you mentioned, there's only two, and they're going to have to find out, you know, with their combinations, how they want to use them, their starters, who's coming off the bench when. So. The guys that are trying out, trying to make the league, are going to lose out in this situation around the league. Yeah, so the 32nd all-time preseason meeting between the Heat and the Magic, and one interesting sidebar to this game uh, on the meaningless side, but it's meaningful as well. The Orlando Magic have won 21 consecutive preseason games under Stan Van Gundy. They went 7-0 last year, and Stan was asked about that streak before the game. He said, yes, it is a streak of 21 consecutive meaningless victories. <laughs> so Stan making light of the situation. He's got a lot on his plate, but first and foremost, get his team ready for the regular season. They open Christmas night in Oklahoma City. Yeah, with two hands, watch. In stride to his buddy. Putting it up, 
putting the heat up three. Jason Jackson uncovering another heat tradition. Not as well known as some of the others, but entertaining, Jax. Yeah, the young players have to recognize, Eric, that if you get pushed up to the front of the layup line at the intro of maybe your first time ever playing in American Airlines Arena, you have to recognize that the veterans might leave you hanging. So guys like Cole and Harris and Byers and Gladness and White, they all go out. They see all the veterans hanging back. They're all by themselves. Everybody in the house is waiting for all the big household names. And he wins their preseason opener by 33. Well, he'd get 36 points in the fourth quarter. Miami scores 65 points in the second half. And outscore the Magic 65 to 39 in the second half. Good night for LeBron and his teammates and LBJ standing by with Jason Jackson. Eric, thank you very much. LeBron, in listening to Coach Spolster before the game, he really was approaching this like another game. When you guys were out there, did you intend for this to feel like another game? Uh, first of all, uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to all the fans, man. Uh, this is a, a unbelievable turnout for a preseason game and uh, it's good to be back. It's good to have our fans back and they, uh, you know, they welcome us with open arms, but we don't have much time, you know, Jay. So, uh, you know, we had to come out here um, and just try to get better, you know, try to get better because we don't have much time before the regular season starts. And as for you, how did you feel? You look great. Did it feel great? I feel good. Uh, it's the best I've felt in a long time. And, uh, you know, to come out here and, uh, you know, get the first win, even though it's a preseason game, to get better uh, individually and as a team, it feels good. And how about these young players? They they see there might be two spots available, so they worked hard for it and were very efficient and effective. What have you seen in practice that transferred on this floor? Uh, that's what we'll be saying. Uh, every day of practice, you know, the guys that we got in camp um, are, are amazing. Um, you know, every last one of them, you know, they don't stop a beat. When we go down, they come in and they make things happen. And uh, that's very efficient. Uh, you know, and they know we got two spots open, so, uh, you know, they, they trying to go get it. So, uh, but it was good. It was good to see those guys come in and uh, keep the momentum going, and they played great tonight. Merry Christmas to you and yours. We'll see you on Wednesday, LeBron. All right, same to you. All right, thank you very much. LeBron James receiving in this holiday season as Rio delivers up top. You can't stop. Two of 19 from LBJ. We're back with more in a moment. Stay here on Sun Sports. You ought to know by now, but if you don't, I'm going to tell you, Sun Sports is your home for Miami Heat basketball. Join us again. I've refer referenced it twice in each interview with each player. I'll see you on Wednesday. Here's why. The Heat will take on the same Magic squad, this time in the O, the MCO, if you like the uh, airport codes. Game time, 7 o'clock for the last tune-up before the Heat open the regular season on Christmas Day in the birthplace of not only Chris Bosh, but young Terrell Harris. Dallas, gotta take on those Mavs. No rings, but you know they're gonna drop a banner in that joint. Enough about them. The game that we'll be doing, it'll be in high demand. Very outstanding, very thorough view of last year. What a wonderful, magical year it was, and you'll be able to see it coming up. Heat basketball returns to Sun Sports for the second and final preseason game against the Orlando Magic. Join us again Wednesday night, as we noted, at 7 o'clock for the Magic and Heat final preparations for the upcoming season. This has been a special presentation of Sun Sports, your home for Miami Heat basketball for my partners, Eric Reed, Tony Fiorentino, and Joanna Gomez. I'm Jason Jackson. Thanks for watching. Good night, South Florida. Stay right there. Coming up next, the Sun Sports debut of Into the Fire.